Hey everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install Optifine in Minecraft 1.17.1. Last night, pretty late, 1.17.1 Optifine came out and today we are doing a video for you all. First from us though, I do want to mention that this is not going to show you exactly how to get shaders. If you want to see how to get shaders, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. We're going to have another video coming up on how to do that as well as another video on how to make Minecraft run fast using Optifine, giving you all the Optifine settings to basically stop lag in Minecraft 1.17. So again, subscribe to the channel for those awesome videos. We also have other great Minecraft tutorials, so subscribe for those as well. Also, I missed from our sponsor at the beginning of this video, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown to XYZ slash Apex. This is our very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server. We actually love and trust Apex so much that we host our own server. Play it on .com on Apex Minecraft Hosting. So check out Apex, the first link down below the breakdown to XYZ slash Apex. Nevertheless, though, you're not here for that. You are here to get Optifine, so let's go ahead and jump right on into it. The first thing you want to do is go to the second link down below, which is going to take you here. Now this is our text tutorial for Optifine and sometimes because there's a lot you have to do in some of these tutorials. I go pretty fast during them. I apologize for that, but it's just kind of what I've always done. However, because of this, we do have a text tutorial that goes through how to download and install Optifine. It goes through everything here. So if you want to go through it at your own pace, you can do that using the text tutorial. However, once you're here, though, if you're following along with the video, or even if you're not, you do need to download Optifine. So go ahead and click on the green download Optifine button here. That's then going to take us off to Optifine's official website where we want to see Minecraft 1.17.1. So right here it is up at the top. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on preview version and then you'll see the Optifine version for 1.17.1. Now, if you have a version under preview version. So let me go ahead and click down here and kind of show you this. If you have a version under preview version, then that's going to go ahead and be the one you download, right? So for example, there is no preview version here, or if there was, and then under that you did see Optifine, right? Like so, you would use this Optifine here, not the one under preview version, because the one down here is much more up to date. Last but not least, I also want to mention that if we go ahead and reload real fast, that it's okay if your version is different from mine. Yours may not be G9 pre-26. Yours may be G87 pre-4000. It doesn't matter what it is because this is just the version number. And the highest, higher this version number is, the better. All that matters is you're downloading under 1.17.1. So for me, I have to click preview version. If you already have a version there, there's no preview version, or if you have a version there and it's just displayed, then that's where you want to go. And then once you have this kind of under 1.17.1, come over and click mirror. The reason we click mirror, by the way, is that's going to kind of bypass some stuff and just get you to the download faster. So once you click on mirror, it's going to take you to where you can see preview Optifine 1.17.1, kind of confirming that this is the correct version you want. And then go ahead and click the purple download button. Now in the bottom left we will go ahead takes us off to an ad there no big deal and then in the bottom left we do have optifine downloading as you can see it says optifine in the title of the file so we're going to go ahead and keep it on mozilla firefox it'll pop up in the center of your screen you want to go ahead and save it in the center of your screen on mozilla firefox now we minimize our browser we do have optifine here on my desktop optifine may not be on your desktop and if that's the case that's going to be found in your downloads folder to find that go ahead and click the little windows icon in the top left of my screen probably in the bottom left of your screen we click on that little windows icon in the top or bottom left of your screen type in downloads you have this download let's file folder here and then in here you will find optifine drag it to your desktop for ease of use now we can go ahead and install optifine now if your optifine file looks different from mine for example it looks like a zip file or it looks like a winrar file i'm going to show you how to fix that just keep watching for a few seconds first let's see if we can go ahead and actually open up optifine to do that go ahead and right click on optifine click on open with click on java and click ok now if you don't have java here or if you click ok and it doesn't work what do you do? Well, it's the same thing that's going to fix this file looking all weird. You go to the description down below and go through this tutorial. This is how to download and install Java 4, Minecraft servers, and Minecraft mods. So it goes over every single step of getting those. Optifine being a Minecraft mod means you need this version of Java. Now, that for most people is going to fix the issue. You should then be able to open up Optifine. But for some of you, your files still will look weird. They'll look like zip files or WinRAR files. They won't look correct. And in that case, you need to run the jar fix. That's also linked in the description down below. And it's a simple three-step process it's literally just downloading and running a basically file and that's going to fix the jar files in your computer link them back to java it's going to take the jar files in your computer and link them back to java so now let's go ahead and minimize our browser again and here on our desktop we do have optifine we can again right click on it 
click on Open With, click on Java, and click OK. That's then going to open up the Optify and installer, as you can see here. And in this installer, we can see it is for Minecraft 1.17.1. Again, confirming we're doing this for 1.17.1. Then go ahead and click the Install button here. And it's going to go ahead and, after a few seconds, install. Now, it may look like it's not doing anything, but I promise it is. If, let's say, after two, three minutes, you still haven't had this, uh, this successful popped up, go ahead and click the Install button again at that point. But for most people, it's going to go ahead and work. Now, for you, if it doesn't work, it's because you've not played Minecraft 1.17.1. So to fix that, what you need to do is go in to the Minecraft launcher here and then just play on the latest release. So latest release 1.17.1, click play here, let Minecraft open up, and then repeat this process, right? Come back to the installer here, click install, and then it will work. Click OK there once it's installed, like I just did, and it will close out of Optifine. We can actually go ahead and delete Optifine off our desktop. We don't need that anymore. And now we can go ahead and open up Minecraft with Optifine. To do this, you want to go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher here. And then once you're in the Minecraft launcher, in the bottom left, right down here, you should have this little arrow drop down. You see, latest release 1.17.1, then you see that little arrow drop down. Click on that. And then in here, you should have Optifine. Right here it is, Optifine. And then most importantly, it says 1.17.1 Optifine. Again, confirming we're playing the 1.17.1 version of Optifine. So if you've got that, you can go ahead and click play. It's going to give you this little warning. Click you understand and click play again. Basically, it's saying you're playing modded Minecraft. Well, of course you're playing modded Minecraft. That's why you wanted Optifine. So nevertheless, let's go ahead and, or that's not necessarily why you wanted Optifine, but Optifine's a Minecraft mod. So of course it's modded Minecraft. So nevertheless, though, if you don't, however, have this Optifine profile, or if you do, and it doesn't say 1.17.1 Optifine under it, what do you do? Well, you come over here to the installations tab. So go ahead and click on installations at the top here. And then on the right hand side, you want to make sure that modded is checked. As you can see, I unchecked modded and Optifine disappears. It's no longer there. We check modded again and Optifine reappears. If that's the case, hover over it, click the green play button. However, if you still don't have Optifine or you don't have that 1.17.1 under Optifine, you want to go ahead and click on new installation. Now you can name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com. Why well, am I naming it that? Because that is our own incredible 1.17.1 grief protected Minecraft survival server. We've also got custom skyblock over there. If you're looking for amazing survival or skyblock experience, come play this on play.breakdowncraft.com. You will love it. Now under the name there, there's this version drop down box. I'm going to go ahead and click on that drop down box. And then we want our find release 1.17.1 Optifine. So right here it is 1.17.1 Optifine. Click on that. And then we want to go ahead and change our resolution. I'm going to change it to 1920 by 1080. You don't don't have to change your resolution, but we're making a video. So I want you all to be able to see once we get in game. Most importantly though, we want to make sure our version is 1.17.1 Optifine. Then go ahead and click create in the bottom right. And then we have this new play.breakdowncraft.com profile. Most importantly, it is 1.17.1 Optifine. Go ahead and click on the green play button that appears when you hover over it. Click you understand the risk and click play. Now Minecraft 1.17.1 is going to open up with Optifine. That quick and that easy, you are done. Basically, like the hard part of this is done. Optifine is installed. I do want to go ahead and say if there is any lag, I apologize. That's just my computer. We've got new parts. We've got new things on the way, but it's just it's delayed because of basically supply issues in 2021. I don't know what it is, but we are just waiting on parts. And eventually this lag that happens whenever I launch Minecraft and run servers and all that stuff, thank goodness will go away. But anyway, here we are on the Minecraft main menu and there's no way to really know that you have Optifine installed and you click on options and then video settings. And then at the bottom left, you have Optifine HD. So again, that was from the main menu, options, video settings, and here are all of your Optifine settings, as well as in the bottom left, Optifine HD there. Now, what's really, really cool, you can do everything you want to do with Optifine here, but if you want to see exactly how to get shaders, make sure you get them installed, change their options, go really in-depth, and make sure you get shaders properly, go ahead and check out our video at the eye of the top of your screen, as well as at the end of this video, on how to download and install shaders for Minecraft 1.17.1. On top of that, if you want to know how to get these settings set up for lag, basically how to fix lag in Minecraft with Optifine, we have a video coming up on that as well. So be sure to subscribe for that. It'll be coming out very, very soon. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you enjoy this video, come play with us on play.breakdowncraft.com. It really helps us out. It's a great way to test your shaders, test your Optifine, test your everything. So come play with us. Anyway, my name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. Thank you so, so much for watching. Look how beautiful this looks. And I'm out. Peace.